hopefully I put Pivo in the shade, so we'll see how it happens. But I see some hitting it already. So, um, so we're going to work on walking him slow and uh, going over some holes. And so we'll see how he does. He's a little goofy getting on from the ground before, so he still might be able to see. The reins are all flopping. Um, this is slow for him, but he has a big walk. He has a big back end. Although I expect him to get slower than this over time. Now you're going to run into Pivo. Oh. So we had a turkey come at us. He's running, almost run into Pivo. There's a mare over there. And what I'm doing is just letting him wander around. Now he's getting too fast. Whoa. So I'm just doing a run range stop and then I should just stand here. And he should stay here on a loose rein. Otherwise I might do another one rein stop. See how he wants to go up there and check it out, which is good. But he's got to listen to me, so he's got to stay here. And the turkey actually went running that way. So when I tell him to stay, he needs to stay. Um, and, you know, it's not totally clear in his brain yet, but it will be in time. So I'm just letting him wander around the arena. If he wants to walk up to something and stop and smell it, he can. He can investigate or he can just keep walking around until I ask him to stop. Okay, so now I'm going to ask him to go. So I'm not steering because um, some horses like this are afraid. So I want him to just go and investigate what things he wants to do. And uh, if he wants to go check something out, he can. So now he's a little slower. So going downhill because our arena is slanted. He gets faster, and a lot of these guys do, because they're just unbalanced, and they don't know how to control themselves. So we're going downhill right now, so he got a little faster. And it's nothing bad. 
they just need to learn how to collect themselves, so they need a human to help them to figure that out. Um, I'm not even looking where I'm going because I'm scratching my eye right now. There's Pivo. I think she's wasted half the time. So, you can see, that's us. Loose floppy range. He's just walking, but he has a big back end. In other words, he has a lot of overstride. So hopefully this camera's not moving too much, but it might be because it doesn't have a stabilizer. So I want him to walk around, investigate, and when he gets going too fast, then I'm just doing a one range stop. If he puts his head down pretty low, right now I'm, I'm letting him do that because I want him to relax and stretch his back so then we can make his gait better. And if he tried to go out that gate, I would of course correct him. So he's pretty brave. He's wandering around the arena and he's going more and more. Now he's going to the bathroom. So this is since he's a forward horse, if he wanted to stop, I'd let him stop. The slow pokey horses, I don't let him stop to go to the bathroom. Okay. So that's the gate to his stall there. So if he tries to go out, I'm going to be ready to pull him back in. Like, don't do that. Nope. So I only had to put one rein and pull it back, but that's the mare. So she's going to tempt him because she went into heat as soon as she showed up here. Okay. So, so far he's doing pretty good, but I'm going to do one rein stop because it's been a while since we stopped. I'm just going to sit back, blow out, say whoa, and then pull. Whoa. He's paying attention to the horse over there. Okay, so now let's just see if he'll stand here for a minute. So he can watch anything as long as his feet don't move. Now, he does tend to park out. A lot of these horses with this big, lanky back ends is more comfortable for him. So if he parks himself out, that's totally fine because that's how he's comfortable standing. Okay, now I'm going to ask him to walk off again. So he might walk towards that horse to actually check it out. What did I tell you? And he's like, hey, what's that going on? So see, he's getting curious instead of scared. So he might as well watch her put the blanket on and stuff. But I'm going to save some of this camera. Hey, don't itch. Um, and let him look, and then I'm going to walk some more, and I'll turn you back on.
yielding again and then going through those holes again. Stop it back up, so it's actually helpful for the, his stifles. The holes are helpful for his stifles. You'll see he's being crooked, that's okay. It's not his fault. Just stop some weakness. Oops. Now I'm just going to let him stand here so he thinks stopping is a good thing. So you might have seen me stopping as I walked around in the beginning. That's when he was pacing, so I didn't want him to pace. And then as I went around and it slopes downhill there, he started to figure out I need to slow down. So he did, and then he wasn't so pacey anymore. So he's very smart, he's getting it. But today we're just working on walking. Um, so we're gonna try it the other direction, but you know, I don't want you to get too bored. So I'm gonna turn you off, and uh, I'll see if there's anything else I need to tell you. But he's doing very well. Okay, so he did a good job until right now. He started to walk off. So every time he walks off and I don't ask him, and I'm riding with two hands, then I'm going to do a backup. If I'm riding with one hand, I'm going to do a one rein stop. So whichever is quicker and then have him stand here. Um, when I take my feet out of the stirrups, like to get off or move, again, he thinks he's supposed to go. So we're trying to get him used to me moving around and him not going anywhere. So I'm going to take my feet out. And um, so what we're doing is a routine. There's, you know, you always want to have a routine when you go in the arena or plan. But I'm doing it all at a walk. So first I just walked him on a loose rein and let him wander around and explore things. And then I actually gave him a routine. And I was on a shorter rein, but I kept it very light contact. And I tried to keep my rein loopy where I could. Um, on the downhills, just in case you could hear me, um, he is pacey, which is normal for a lot of them that are lateral. So I just stopped. And um, I didn't... A couple of times I might have backed up. So some horses I, I will slam on the brakes and back up, and some of them I won't. It depends on their condition and their rehab because I don't want to make them sore. So now he's just parking out, which is fine. And so with him, I backed up some, but not a lot. And the same thing with the poles. And we'll see if he walks off again. You have a chance, but if he walks off again, we're going backwards. Um, with the poles, I did poles, but I only did them a couple of times each direction because I don't want to make him sore. And I don't want to make him not want to do them because he's sore. So overall, he's much, much better. He's much calmer. You can see he can sit here on a loose rein. Um, I can move my feet around some, which I couldn't do at all before, so that's good. So now I'm going to swing off and we'll see how he does. Good job. And then I'm immediately going to loosen the girth. smart horse he's getting it he wants to do the right thing he's a people pleaser so that makes them learn faster versus someone who's bratty and someone who doesn't care about you um, so he's come along nicely and uh, we'll show you another video in a week or two okay but no and i'm not going to flat walk everybody might be like we want to see his gait i'm not going to flat walk until he can do this really well and calmly and then I'll start adding some flat walking in at the end but you don't want to do it now because you'll just amp them back up so you got to stay at the slow walk until they can do that really well 
and they become a little lazier.